Hi everyone, it's Sailor Mimsy. This week's video will be a journaling time. Okay, so today is the 20th. Oh no, I think I'm down to maybe one or two pens. Look how much ink is left. No! I gotta go find another one before that runs out. Okay, so we have this backup one here just in case. Alright, so today is Wednesday and we actually went to go see a movie and we had um, lunch at Red Lobster. It is my husband's first time at Red Lobster. So of course I made sure to keep the wrapper from the candy. And I'm just going to cut the logo out and slap it in the journal. Let's put my dangerous scissors aside. I'm just going to use some regular cello tape to stick this down. I know if you try using glue stick on plasticky things, it usually will peel right off. I don't want to use washi because then the washi will cover it up. So just like that. Now where should we stick it? I'm just trimming off the excess so it doesn't take up so much room on the page because then that will take up some of our writing space because my pen won't write on the tape. I'm just gonna stick it in this, on this side here. There, so it sticks on nicely. Ta-da! Let's see, I've been doing prompts. It's this art challenge. I wrote it all out here at the beginning. April Art Challenge. It's by the Instagram user at BYBUN. So I just wrote down all the prompts for the, the month of April here. So it's the 20th and I have to draw a beverage. Beverage. Oh, perfect. Today I had a very complex beverage after the movie. I had a halo halo, and it's a Filipino thing, but it's, I think it's pretty popular. It's really yummy, and it's pretty much like a dessert in a cup. It's so good. So I will attempt to draw that. Maybe. I suck at drawing food, so we'll see. And the movie that we saw today was The Jungle Book. It was so good. I was crying happy and sad tears almost throughout the entire thing. It was so good. I loved it. And I'm pretty sure I have a paper bit that had Shere Khan on it or like blue. Now I gotta find it. Alright, so in the event that I wouldn't find what I was looking for, I picked out some other paper bits along the way that would work out for what I was thinking of. But yeah, I was so sure that I had um, pictures of the old, like the animated Disney version of the Jungle Book. I was pretty sure I had a little picture of King Louis, but I guess I don't. But these will work for now. So I have paper bits here. So there's a bear, a tiger, and some elephants. That'll work for now. And anyways, I kind of wanted to draw King Louis anyway. So that kind of works out. Okay, so grab my date stamp because I wanted to use this. And there's a spot there for the date. I chose it because it has like the honeycomb print on there. Alright, so I'm just going to stamp the date on this. Wait, let's make sure it's the right way. Boom. So I chose this because we have a honeycomb print. Should we put it there? No, I can't cover that. That'd be weird. That would bug me. Maybe I'll just put it down here. Oh, that's covering that. Yeah, I think I'll put it down here. So I'm just going to use washi tape because I'm going to be writing underneath it. So these will match the honeycomb print. Add a bit more on the back. And before I continue on, I'm just going to write down the weather. 
really enjoyed the Jungle Book movie. And the thing is, I've never seen the animated Disney version, but I read the book when I was a kid, like the Jungle Book, and I had the soundtrack to the, the Disney animated version of it. My mom bought it for me. Not sure why. My mom just randomly bought us this soundtrack to it, but it was like the music was really good. So we know like the songs to The Jungle Book, but we didn't watch The Jungle Book. Maybe my siblings have, but I definitely did not see the animated one when I was a kid. So yeah, I should probably watch the animated one just to just to get it over with, but it looks super cute. I would definitely watch The Jungle Book again. It was so good. I was out of shot, I just noticed that now. But I was just gluing down this little, the little bare stamp on this piece of cardstock bit. And now I'm just going to glue down the tiger. On this paper bit, I just wrote the Jungle Book, and then underneath it, I'm just gonna write um, my thoughts on the movie and probably some spoilers. So I'm hoping you guys can't read it. If you guys haven't seen the movie, I hope you can't read this. I don't want to ruin it for you. So for my drawing, I'm just going to do a Google search and draw from that. I'm going to use pencil for this because I want to see if I could kind of change up the drawing. I was just looking on my phone for a picture of Hello Hello, which is a beverage I want to draw for my prompt today. And I should have taken a picture of my drink before I finished it. So this is basically what it looks like. It's layers of yumminess in a cup, but I have seen variations where people eat it out of a bowl. And what I like to do is I let the ice, the shaved ice part melt and let it mix in with the ice cream and then I stir it up and then drink and then eat as well because there's like all these layers of good things in it. Okay, so before I color this in, I'm just gonna do some more writing up at the top. Oh, pen is running out. Boo. Yeah, it's it's done. For this page, I'm going to do a mixture of paint and marker again. I'm not completely happy with how my drawing of King Louis turned out, but maybe after I add color, it'll look a bit better. I didn't feel like redoing it, mainly because I'm tired and I just really wanted to finish this. I decided to settle with this because I could tell it's him, but it just doesn't look quite right. 
Oops, I'm out of the frame again. So I'll just adding some purple to the my beverage drawing. And the purple part of the drink is called ube. And I think it's it comes from taro, but I don't know what they do to it to make it this consistency. It's like uh I can't even describe it. It's like the top part was like the top part of the ube was this was the ice cream ube and then this was actual actual ube which is kind of like oh I can't describe it it's like a paste not a paste um I want to say it's like dough but it's not uh, I don't know I can't describe it but it's delicious there was also leche flan in it it's like a custard. That's this part here. But I like stirring it up and breaking all the breaking the bits up. And then these dots that I'm trying to do is bini big, which is I believe it's toasted rice or is it roasted rice? Toasted rice. Maybe it's toasted. And then at the bottom, there is different types of gelatin. And there's different colors. I'm just gonna wait for that one to dry till I add another color. And then of course there was beans, like sweet, sweet beans. I don't know what they add to make it sweet or to give it this flavor, some kind of syrup. So we'll just put some beans here. And there was also sago, which is tapioca balls, but they're bigger than what you see in the tapioca pudding that you buy at the store. So we'll just do some circles here. And then there's shaved ice. And then there's also some milk in it. I think the milk, it's condensed milk or evaporated milk. One of those. Is it the same thing? Oh, I can't Google it right now. So I'm just painting in the straw. And we'll just let that dry for a bit. Oh, let's zoom in a bit actually. Oopsie. I was really liking the purple that I used in the beverage, so I thought I'd continue it down here as a background, kinda. Alright, so the animated version of King Louis is several different colors. So I just want to use my markers for that. I just don't feel like mixing a bunch of paint right now. And while that is drying, I'm going to finish up what my sorry, finish up my doodles on this side here, just little ones. The little drawings of me while watching the movie and crying throughout the whole thing. Happy and sad tears. Okay, so we'll go back down here to the Hello Hello. I think it's pretty much done. I'm just gonna. Oh, I should finish painting in the cookie stick thing. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done. Besides doing the outlines and stuff there, like on these two drawings, I'm pretty much done. Might add a little more color to some spots.
I think I made his hair too. I definitely made his hair too wild. This is kind of reminding me of those the, the gorilla's funky hairdos from that animated Tarzan, like Disney's animated Tarzan. Oh, there's another movie that's coming out this year that I'd like to see. The live action Tarzan. Ooh, I wonder what the other side looks like. Oopsie, could have went through. Nope, we're safe. Yay! I can kind of see some shadowing around here, but not bad at all. Okay, that's fine. Sorry about that. So my camera actually, um, well it stopped working because the memory card filled up and I didn't notice in time, so um, I ended up finishing outlining this doodle here. And we'll just zoom out a bit. And as you can see here, I I just continued on doing some things, just little things. Uh, there's the outline on the Halo Halo is done, and added a little background. The other outlining on the monkey's done, King Louie. So I definitely made his hair too floofy looking. So he, it doesn't look like him at all. But it's too late now. A little bit more writing and just some... I think that's it actually. So I'm just going to add some more color to this and then I'm pretty much done. I think I said that earlier before my camera went out. So my page for today is all done. And I'll just show you guys quickly. My drawing fail with Sadie and King Louie and Sadie are supposed to be conspiring there. That's why she's kind of smiling. And then my Hollow Hollow, which looks like not what it's supposed to. <laughs> and I'll just move it far. So there's the writing and stuff there. I don't want to spoil the movie for you guys. But hopefully you guys watch the movie. And if you have already, I hope you guys liked it. Because it was so awesome. I would seriously go see it again. If you guys haven't seen the movie yet, definitely sit through the credits. Just because it's super adorable. I just, uh, I just really enjoyed the whole movie. It was great. It was definitely not for little kids, so like young children. Anyways. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, or anything like that, just leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!